quantum mechanics often feels spooky because it challenges our understanding of reality itself. And this becomes even more intriguing when linked to consciousness. The idea that particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously and affect each other instantly over distances suggests a reality that doesn't conform to classical logic. When we relate this to consciousness, some theories propose that our awareness might somehow be intertwined with these quantum processes. In the 1930s, the renowned physicist Albert Einstein found himself troubled by a strange aspect of quantum mechanics. This was the idea that two particles, no matter how far apart they were in the universe, could instantly affect each other's behavior. He referred to this puzzling phenomenon as spooky action at a distance because it seemed to contradict the well-established law of physics, particularly his own theory of relativity which states that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. However, quantum entanglement, as this phenomenon is called, is now widely accepted and experimentally proven. But what if this strange connection between particles is more than just a quirky aspect of quantum mechanics? What if it hints at something much deeper, like a universal consciousness that links everything in the universe? This idea suggests that the connections we see in quantum mechanics might be a reflection of a more profound truth, that all beings and particles are connected through consciousness itself. To grasp the concept of quantum entanglement, we first need to understand a fundamental property of particles known as spin. Despite its name, spin doesn't mean that particles are literally spinning like tops. Instead, it's a type of intrinsic angular momentum, which can be thought of as the particle's built-in rotation. This spin gives particles an orientation in space. When we measure a particle's spin, we can only do so in a specific direction, such as up or down, relative to the chosen direction of measurement. Interestingly, the result of this measurement can only be one of two possible outcomes. Either the particle's spin is aligned with the direction of measurement, which we call spin up, or it's the opposite to that direction, which we call spin down. Here's where it gets intriguing. If the particle spin is vertical, but we choose to measure it horizontally, there's a 50% chance it'll be spun up and a 50% chance it'll be spun down. And once the measurement is made, the particle's spin is fixed in that direction. This means that the very act of measurement affects the particle's spin which can be likened to the idea in consciousness studies that observation shapes reality. Now that we understand spin, let's explore how particles become entangled. Entanglement occurs when two particles are linked in such a way that the state of one particle directly influences the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. For example, if two particles are entangled and we measure the spin of one particle as we spin up in a particular direction, the other particle spin when measured in the same direction, will always spin down. This suggests a deep connection between the two particles, as if they are communicating with each other instantaneously. But what if this connection between entangled particles is a physical manifestation of a broader connection that exists between all things? Just as these particles are connected, perhaps all beings are connected through a shared consciousness. This would imply that, at a fundamental level, everything in the universe is interlinked, much like the particles in a quantum system. The concept of spin becomes even more fascinating when we consider that particles do not have a well-defined spin until we measure it. Before measurement, the particle spin is not determined. It exists in a state of uncertainty, where it could be either spun up or spun down. This challenges the traditional idea of a predefined reality, suggesting instead that reality itself may be undefined until it is observed or experienced. In the context of consciousness, this idea takes on an even deeper meaning. If particles do not have a defined state until observed, could this imply that reality is shaped by consciousness? In other words, just as a particle spin is determined by measurement, perhaps the world around us is shaped by our conscious awareness. This perspective invites us to consider the possibility that consciousness plays an active role in creating reality, rather than merely perceiving it. Einstein, along with some other physicists, was uncomfortable with the idea that particles could be connected in such a mysterious way without some underlying mechanism. 
He proposed that perhaps the particles contained hidden variables, or information that predetermined their spin states, even before measurement. This would mean that the particles were not actually communicating faster than light, but simply revealing information that was already there. To test this idea, physicist John Bell developed an experiment that could determine whether particles indeed carried hidden information or if they were truly connected in the mysterious way that quantum mechanics suggested. In Bell's experiment, pairs of entangled particles are sent to two detectors that randomly choose one of three possible directions in which to measure the spin. The key to the experiment lies in comparing the results from the two detectors. If the particles contained hidden information, the results would differ more than five out of nine times. However, the experimental results showed that the spins were different only 50% of the time, suggesting that there were no hidden variables guiding the particles. Instead, it seemed that the particles were truly connected in a way that defies classical explanations. This outcome has profound implications for our understanding of reality and consciousness. If particles do not contain pre-existing information about their spin, it suggests that their states are determined only at the moment of measurement, reinforcing the idea that observation, perhaps consciousness itself, plays a crucial role in shaping reality. This aligns with the notion that reality is not fixed, but fluid and interconnected, just like the consciousness that may underlie all existence. Quantum entanglement is one of the most mysterious and fascinating aspects of quantum mechanics. It suggests that two particles, even if separated by vast distances, are somehow connected so that the state of one instantly influences the state of the other. This has led to various interpretations among scientists and thinkers. One interpretation is that particles might communicate with each other faster than light, sending information instantly across space. However, this idea clashes with Einstein's theory of relativity, which says that nothing can travel faster than light. Another interpretation is that entangled particles are not communicating at all. Instead, they're so deeply connected that the state of one particle automatically determines the state of the other, no matter the distance between them. But what if this connection between particles is more than just a physical phenomenon? Some people believe that it might be evidence of a deeper, universal consciousness, a force that connects everything in the universe. This idea suggests that consciousness itself could be the thread that ties all particles, beings, and even the universe itself. If we consider the possibility that consciousness is a unifying force, quantum entanglement takes on a whole new meaning. The instant connection between entangled particles might be a reflection of this deeper truth that all things in the universe are interconnected through a shared consciousness. This consciousness might be what allows particles to know the state of their entangled partners, no matter how far apart they are. In this view, consciousness is not limited to individual beings, but is a fundamental part of the fabric of the universe. Just as quantum entanglement shows that particles are not separate, but part of a connected whole. Consciousness might be the underlying force that connects all of existence. This idea opens up the possibility that we, too, are connected to everything around us through this universal consciousness. The universe seems less like a big machine and more like a big thought. This idea suggests that being aware isn't just limited to our brains or bodies. It extends beyond space and time into a vast field of awareness. Whether we recognize or understand this doesn't change the reality. Studies, like those conducted at Princeton, show that human consciousness can influence a random number generator, or RNG, that spins zeros and ones randomly. When people focus their awareness on it, the RNG's output shifts similar to how quantum processes work, where outcomes aren't strictly predictable. This suggests that consciousness isn't just an illusion or something confined to the brain. It can actually affect probabilities. At the deepest level, in quantum mechanics, mind and matter aren't separate. They're different aspects of one whole, constantly interacting. Understanding the connection between physics and consciousness is important. Photons, people, and awareness are all linked and not limited by space and time. Another compelling experiment was conducted by Dr. Masaru Emoto, a Japanese scientist who explored the impact of human intention on water. He exposed water samples to different thoughts, words, and music, and then froze them. 
The resulting ice crystals were photographed, revealing that positive intentions produced well-formed, beautiful crystals, while negative intentions led to distorted, chaotic structures. So the human consciousness can affect the physical world even at the molecular level. While quantum entanglement does not allow for faster-than-light communication, it does hint at a much deeper connection between particles and possibly between all things in the universe. The results of quantum experiments show that the connection between entangled particles is real, but it doesn't involve sending information faster than light. Instead, it suggests that these particles are linked in a way that transcends physical space and time. This connection is, indeed, spooky as Einstein put it, but it also invites us to think about the possibility of a deeper, more profound connection through consciousness. Even though we can't use quantum entanglement to send messages instantly across the universe, it does show us that the universe is more interconnected than we might have imagined. Quantum mechanics challenges our understanding of reality in many ways, and quantum entanglement is one of the most striking examples. It forces us to question the nature of reality and question the possibility that consciousness plays a key role in shaping the world around us. Share your thoughts about this in the comments below. And if you want to know more about the mysteries of space, don't forget to watch our video on Dark Matter Explained in 10 minutes. See you in the next one. Bye!